Hi, Mama. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are good you? Good to have you. Thank you so much. You look My amazing. pleasure. Thanks. That glow. Same to you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Uh, say hi to the people. Good. Uh, <laughs> hello, everybody. My name is Paulette, and I'm a mom of two. Uh, I'm so so happy to be here. I'm so glad that Peace thought about me to join her in this video. <laughs> and I'm really, really glad and looking forward Girl, to doing this. It's my pleasure. I mean, <laughs> same here. A little backstory on how I met Mano. <laughs> okay, before I even go very far, if you've seen her bio, she says she loves dancing and she loves people. Absolutely. I can testify to that. <laughs> As I give you a little backstory, uh, we met years ago, 2019, if I'm yep. not mistaken. Uh, that day, particularly, it had rained. <laughs> she was, was soaking wet. Uh, guys, I was soaking wet. I was shivering. We had a, 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 the, the tea and talk. Tea, uh, tea and talk, and um, organized by Iris. Yeah. Yes. Hi, Mama. Yeah. Hi, Iris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, when she saw me, she's like, "Hi." She didn't know me. I didn't know her. She's like, "Hi. Are you okay?" I'm like. Who is this one talking to me? <laughs> like, because everyone didn't talk to the other person. Like, yeah. But she like she saw me shivering. She's like, are you okay? Do you need tea? She called the waiter. She's like, please get her tea. And I'm like, oh, who is Mind this Mind you, person? she was in a jacket. And she had a scarf, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> but she I, was shivering. Yeah, I yeah. was. I was. And you yeah. showed me so much love. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> Always. Back to the video. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be sharing with you uh, the hospital bag essentials. When I was preparing to go to the hospital to give birth to my baby, uh, it was a very big challenge. Mm -hmm. All the videos on the internet, Nabu Hanze, yep. hospitals from all over, but we are in Rwanda. So it didn't really work with mm -hmm. what my reality mm -hmm. it re didn't work with. Because most of the videos, they will tell you the hospital provide this. Yep. You know that, right? Absolutely. The hospital provide this. The hospital will give you that. You don't need to carry this. For the Murugwanda people. Carry everything. <laughs> carry everything. <laughs> well, not yeah. everything, but you know. Yeah. yeah. So I asked, uh, well, Mano. Do you like using Mano? Any, yeah, really. Mano okay. is good. Or Mama Isa. Oh, Mama Isa. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Mama Isa uh, put up a, a, a post on her status that she wanted to do this video. It's like, that's my chance. <laughs> I need to reach out to her because I was planning to do the same thing. Yeah. But I was like, since she's a mom of two, she's had way more experience than me. She's been at the hospital more than one time. So she's the really right person for this particular video. And she was gracious to say yes. Guys, she put the emoji of 100%. I'm like, oh, this is amazing. So i grateful for you. I'm so honored to okay, be here. You so have no idea. Before we bore you. Before we bore yes, them, yes, yes. let's get right into the video. Let's do it. Mama, mm -hmm. what do we need? We don't need to carry the whole nursery yep. at the hospital. Mm -hmm. People are wondering uh, what they should do or what they should park to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. So give us a few of the essentials we, uh, they can park for their bags. Mm -hmm. Like, of course, we have categories. There's yep. a, the baby, there is the mama. Most people mm -hmm. forget about mamas. Mamas don't forget about yourselves. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then another person they forget is yeah. the person who comes with the mom to the hospital. Yeah. Always. The caregivers Always. like this yeah. for what? Eh? Uh, how they call them? Avarguaz. Avarguaz. Yeah. Like we need to think Barabi about the Nukuri. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's so sad. It's yeah. so sad. Yeah. So okay, let's let's start. Sure. Oh. Um, and I think I think there are a few things that are must-haves, okay. uh, but I think some of the things they depend on the person really. So this video is going to be about the essentials, okay. but it's also going to be about some of the things that Niza and I, you know, <laughs> would like to put in. Yeah, the extra. <laughs> <laughs> a, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit okay, extra. Yes. Yeah. So I think starting with baby, you say, yes. you know, baby is the first person we have to think about. You got to make sure everything yeah. is thought about. Okay. And the f most basic things okay. are diapers. Okay, mommy, <laughs> <laughs> your baby the... needs diapers. The, the soon, the, you know, as soon as the baby is born, you got to need, you know, this. Baby, baby size. Uh, this is yes. A... This is AV baby, but yes. they're different brands out there. And it's a size there. two. 
It's the smallest. Yeah, it's the yes. smallest. Yes. But mm -hmm. I would say uh, the the different brands out yep. there, you you can choose one. Exactly. But make sure you're ready to stick with it because mm -hmm. it's still good to like change diapers mm -hmm. in, uh, along the way. Mm -hmm. So choose one that is uh, price effective on your end. Yeah. And also, it should be on the market because you don't want to choose a, a, a type of diaper and uh, two months in, three months in, now go be like it's, mm -hmm. it's done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and then you've been changing for the little one, yeah. And yeah. The rashes and all that. That's so, true. So yeah. Disclaimer: We are. She was gracious enough to host us in her <laughs> beautiful home. <laughs> I didn't so, see that coming. <laughs> In her beautiful home. Thank you for hosting us. My pleasure. Yeah, so uh, most of the products, okay, all of the products we're using yeah. are hers and for her little yeah. one since she has a newborn. Mm -hmm. So uh, the bags are still, mm -hmm. have you unpacked yet? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. In fact, there are a few things I haven't unpacked. Yeah, it's so true. it was really yeah. fresh and the right, yes. the right moment for this video. Yes. Okay, yeah, moving on. Yeah, and actually, just to add on to what you said, so everything here that I'm showing is what I use, but you are free to really you know, go out there, talk to your people if you want to know what, you know, work, works for you. For every product that I'm going to show, you can choose uh, really what works for you. So these are just samples, but diapers in general, you need this. Yeah. And I think... The quantity? Like yes. you need to carry the whole yes. thing? No, no. I, on, the, on my first baby, I carried a whole packet yeah. and it was just laying there. It was more things to carry. Mm. But this time around, I just took a small sachet and I put in 10 of these, which I didn't use. I <laughs> probably used like five of them. Yeah. Uh, so 10, 10 are really a good pack. And you know, sometimes if you run out, which I don't think you will ever run out on 10, yeah. you can just tell someone to bring you, you know, quickly, but yeah. 10 are those. Yeah, also talking of running out, mm -hmm. like, uh, how many days are we parking for? Great, so in, uh, on average, three days yeah so you you think about three nights especially if it's a c-section yes most people who give birth naturally mm. next day they're out yeah. so that's but you why, never yeah. know so just exactly stay prepared exactly yeah. you never know some may last for more you know five days but thinking about average you know three days yeah 10 would three be to good. five days exactly okay. yeah three to five days is okay. a good average yeah so diapers and we can talk about diapers without talking about wipes because you gotta use those wipes and then put on the diaper. Okay. Up. Yeah. Wipes, guys. Mm -hmm. So there what you next? go. Yeah, um, we have uh, a bunch of things around <laughs> we us. Do. So we're gonna pick. Uh, if you see us looking inside, we're picking yeah. a few products to show you just for like visual purposes mm -hmm. for you just to know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So stay with us. Mm -hmm. There you go. Connection. <laughs> We I need think, that. Yeah. And okay, one yeah. Next. I think just talking about, you know, cleaning the baby, okay. we have a diaper rash cream. Once you have used your wipes and cleaned the baby, you need a diaper rash cream. Again, okay. this is my, the one I use, mm -hmm. but there are so many out there mm -hmm. that Peace is going to tell us about. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Personally, I use uh, the Mustela one, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but the different uh, different uh, rush yeah. uh, creams that you can use, or yeah. pudri powder. Yep. Yeah, the baby powders also do mm -hmm. do the magic. Mm -hmm. They do the same work. It's true. Yeah. yeah, because sometimes creams tend to be expensive. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. think about that. They tend to be a little bit on true. the pricey side. Yeah. So another option you can do, if you can, use both. Because I mm -hmm. use both. Mm -hmm. At least now that it's older. When I was young, I didn't use the, the cream. Yeah. But now it's old, older, I mix it up. Like cream and powder. Yeah, cream mm. and powder. During the day, powder, he's sweating, he's playing, exactly. he's doing that. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, you can use that as well. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, please, if, you can go to the pharmacy and ask them for diaper rash cream or anything yes. to do with the, uh, the product you can put mm -hmm. on, on the baby before the. Yeah the diapers exactly. they will recommend you the best mm -hmm. don't forget about price like now good be honey and then not co be consistent exactly. with it moving on to cleanliness after sharing you need lotion for your baby your mm -hmm. baby still achinea mavuta but sometimes they will tell you this baby has a rush maybe don't you know wait a little bit but you know carry this in your hospital bag because sometimes you know they come dry yeah. <laughs> and you need a bit of lotion. You should yeah. see their skins out yeah. when they just born. Oh my God. Oh yeah, I don't we want to think babies. about we that. We love babies, but guys. We love them so much, so dearly. But no. Have you seen a newborn? 
<laughs> go on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to talk about, you know, clothes, wash clothes and all that. Yeah. So I think um, a few things that we have here. First of all, a washcloth. Ga. Ga. Go se uchineye ga. This is easy to use because, you know, you put in your arm and you... There are some that are completely open, so it's like a little towel, mm -hmm. but they're not super uh, functional, I think. So. Yeah. You know, so newborns like don't this. necessarily take baths. Mm -hmm. but yeah, mm -hmm. these videos I've been seeing babies taking baths, but in our hospitals they like. They tell it's you wait, <laughs> wait before yeah. the, the cord, exactly yeah, heals and drops off. Exactly. Yeah, so you just like wipe them down. Yeah. In relation to wiping them down, they need a little basin. They do, and we got one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need a whole. Big basin for babies. Yes. Just uh, if you know a set that comes with this, there's a, a big basin yes. and then there's like a small potty. potty, and then there is a, a, a double. The big basin as well. Yes, yes. In, double. In, in double. Exactly. Yeah, and then yeah. it comes with also a small this size. So please mm -hmm. uh, carry this with you. Carry this with you at the hospital. Babies up. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, babies up. <laughs> Hold that thought. <laughs> uh, we're talking about the, the basin mm -hmm. and then the, 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 clo the bathing clo uh, mm -hmm. the wash cloth, the mm. washcloth. Now, still in that area. Yes. Mm -hmm. You need soap. Again, choose what works for you. And a towel. Baby towel. Very good. It's small, it's cute, it's, you know, it's not going to take a lot of space in your bag. Yeah. So it's. So uh, as we, yeah, as we're still doing, uh, as we're mentioning all the things, the main goal is not to pack a lot of things. These are essential. We are not showing you things that you don't have to. These are things you have. You have to pack. Mm -hmm. So uh, the towels are must. Soap, because uh, earlier on we mentioned about the the lotion. Mm -hmm. So soap, towel. Perfect. Now that we're done with that. So now that we're done with uh, soap and towels and all that, mm -hmm. lotion, the next thing I think, yeah, let's, let's talk about that, the, the clothes, baby sure. clothes. Yeah. Yes. That's a must. That's an essential as well. Yeah. Um, and maybe one thing to tell you what happens is as soon as you give birth, mm -hmm. actually before you give birth, you need to give to the nurses a pack, you know, that has a a blanket, mm -hmm. baby clothes that are really fully cover covering the baby with, you know, a hat, mittens yeah. and all that. And they those are the warm. things that we're going to show. Yes. These little, these little yeah. guys or humans, they, they are cold. Yeah. Oh, wow. They've been in the womb yeah. for nine months. So yeah. they need to be a bit, so you know, soggled. So as soon as they are born, the first thing they will ask are the yeah. clothes, the warm clothes. So in the baby section, mm -hmm. uh, the, the clothes section, mm -hmm. I think we should say how many outfits does one mm -hmm. need to mm -hmm. pack? Mm -hmm for the hospital. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I personally packed three full onesies. And when I talk about a full onesie, it's, you know, full outfit. Full outfit. So it covers the whole body of the baby. Mm -hmm. And all you have to add is a hat and mittens for the for the little, yeah, they could yeah, have for the fingers the, and the, nails the yeah, they can, they could scratch themselves. They can scratch themselves. Yeah. It's cold, so yeah. Do you think that underneath this we could put like a, a, a that's one true? I say other thing. Forgetting, <laughs> mind you, I have a baby of one month. Yeah, mommy brain. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. So uh, this underneath, and then mm -hmm. this, and the cape. Uh, yes, and the cape. And also the the mittens. Mittens yes, are. Sure. They look like this. No, no, no. So you see, but for mm -hmm. the for the for the for the fingers, yep. for the hands, the little hands, they be like this. So <laughs> cute, so Very cute. cute. Baby clothes are really cute. Like, yeah, super the first cute. The first time I received the um, my, the first outfit mm -hmm. for a baby, mm -hmm. I cried. Yeah, because one. You looked at it. You were like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, so Imagine. Cute. I said I'm a baby. I you am are. a big baby. Yeah, you're the yeah. baby. <laughs> You need a mama. Yeah, you need a mama. I need my mama. Okay, there yes. you go. Yeah. And so basically you give them this mm -hmm. as, you know, the warm outfit. And then you give them a blanket to cover the baby in it. Okay, right? Yeah. They need yeah. to be warm. Yeah. They Keep need to be mind. warm. 
all the time so as soon as they're born they need uh, the outfit so on outfit side as we're saying we need the the, the first time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. outfit yes and then we need uh two more warm outfits yes and then we the going home outfit yeah well, you yeah. know if you it, put in that little yeah if you extra thing. if you yeah. extra you can like Misa and Ma, no? <laughs> you can put in a, a matching outfit with mama just for pictures <laughs> okay I, I didn't think we we're going that extra but it's okay <laughs> matching no, outfit it I is mean, I didn't do this for my first one because I didn't know yeah. what to pack. Yeah. Like seriously, yeah. the reason as to why we really wanted to do this, this is my first child. So I struggled mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. As we said at the beginning of the video, I Googled, yep. I called friends, what am I going to pack, this and that. But second baby, I can't prepare. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's the yeah. same for me. I think for the first one, I, oh my God. You packed the whole then house, the whole nursery. Ni ni. E. Packed, packed for myself, packed for the baby. And mm. I didn't use all of that. Yeah. For the second baby, I was so glad. Actually, you guys should take your notes and just start writing or yeah. your, you know, on your phone, yeah. put a list. Mm -hmm. Because on the second baby, it was just swift. I just went into my list and checked. Mm, yeah. I've put this, I've put this. Yeah. And just so this yeah. video is, uh, is useful to you, uh, years to come, if you're an aspiring mom yep. <laughs> in the future, or if we you're shall leave the, the right list uh, down in the yeah. description box. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, we got you. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh huh. The cute going home outfit. How cute is this? <laughs> like, ah! Okay, it's much more like an that for for baby boys. Yes, uh, it's it, true. Yeah, we both have baby boys. <laughs> yeah, she has two beautiful baby boys. She's a uh, and the uh, one beautiful six months boy. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, you may wonder. Mm. That's what we have. Exactly. But uh, they're cute. A baby girl clothes. yes many yeah. actually girls, yeah. girls have way more options, way more options. <laughs> than, than yeah. the guys so there you go and if you you know you take a cute cloth you need socks in that case yeah. because you know it's not a full onesie that you know is going to cover the mm. the feet mm. so it's baby socks yeah so. and a hat of course a hat yes there you go. The, the clothes you need. So also as I, we continue with the video, let me pose a question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When does one need to start parking? <laughs> That's a very good question. Yeah. <laughs> because I have a friend who had to park on her way to the hospital. Wow. And yeah, so normally they tell you, you know, you, you're supposed to give birth at 40 weeks, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But some people give birth. 30, at 36 weeks, mm -hmm. 37, 38. Mm -hmm. So you can't really be sure. Mm -hmm. You could give birth at 42 weeks mm -hmm. as well as you could give birth at 37 weeks. Mm -hmm. So what I advise is to start, start pack, start mm -hmm. packing mm -hmm. at two months before. Oh, at, yeah. uh, say seven months. Yes, so you're at seven months. Mm -hmm. You just put your luggage there, you know? Mm. Start putting in things, mm. especially for the baby because you're not using these things. Yes, yeah? yeah. Start putting in the, you know, small little things as you tick on your list that you're going to have after yeah. this video. Yeah. <laughs> you just tick slowly, mm -hmm. put it in the bag and at least finish, finish packing the essential stuff for the baby mm. one month before. Okay. And then for mama, you can do this in the, you know, just one week or two weeks after that. Yeah. yeah. So mm. by really, if they, they're telling you that you're giving birth at 40 weeks, mm. at least finish packing at so 37 due weeks. Date, you should do that like four weeks you do that. Absolutely. Capricia Absolutely. Ka last minute. Hey, you don't want that. You don't want that. Hakuna. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving cool. on. So in addition to what we said, you know, the full outfit with a onesie inside, which is you know, the little thing, they call it petit bateau, you know, in this randa. Mm. So basically you can add these two. So these ones are, you know, long, sleeve. long sleeves. Mm. So you definitely need this, just throw in two because it could be very cold and you need to put in, you know, these ones plus the onesie, or maybe do this with like just shorts, but yeah. don't overdo it. Just put in two mm. and they could come in handy. Okay. These babies are cold. Yeah. Thank you, Mama. Okay, moving on. Great. 
We're done with clothes? We are, okay, pretty uh, much. What next? The sleeping. Next, yes. So no. at the hospital, depending on which one anyway, do mm -hmm. they give every, to bassin, the, 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 mm. the bassinet? Where I gave birth from, they gave a bassinet and a uh, mattress. A yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you have to do too. the bed yourself. Yeah. Mm. Which hospital? It was Faisal. Yes. DMC. Oh, good. That yeah. is two different experiences. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So they did give the, the bassinet and then uh -huh. the, the small ma baby mattress. Yes. So, of course, you need uh, sheets or yes. baby, baby sheets to, yeah. to lay they in. They really yeah. need to be comfy and cozy and yeah. just, yeah. you know, feeling good. Yeah. So, you know, just like grown-ups, okay. you have a sheet. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have one mm -hmm. and you have a, a small blanket yeah, that you're going to put. Yeah. Yeah. So get yourself two pairs of these. That's all you need. That's all you need. Yeah, because yeah. you want to change. One could do, mm -hmm. but you just... Yeah, you yeah. feel like... Yeah, you cannot mm. just use... And you never know, honestly. Mm. Just two Something items for this it. is... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's important. Okay. Perfect. And a blanket. Yes. So I think with the clothes, mm -hmm. that's that's all you need, right? That's pretty much. That's pre um, one thing maybe you know that we can add is a burp cloth. Mm -hmm. So you know, just put in two. Again, you don't need too many. Mm -hmm. The baby is still figuring out how to feed, how to burp. nurse, how to burp. <laughs> yeah. You know, they have no idea what's going on. Yeah. But you know, you just need a little burp cloth, which is something small like this mm -hmm. that you can use to you know. Uh, just in case you know you put it After here him, if people yeah. are visiting yeah you know perfumes uh, yeah. so yeah. You, you know you want people to put it on them and then yeah. they hold the baby from there yeah That's and a side all. note yeah. guys always ask for a bob cloth when you want to carry mm -hmm. someone's baby <laughs> Yes, please. Just don't just grab. Yeah, you just know, ask for it. Yeah. But someone just like carry your baby. Mm. It's okay, but yeah. And you, could you smell good? Nachiwazo, mm. ariko. Mm. It's just you know the They're baby. Babies. We agree. But honestly, this is simple. Just put it on you mm -hmm. and hold the baby. This is gonna be great for you, for the baby, and for the mom. And for the mom, the mom won't feel like, eh, and then you have already, you know, yeah. picked up the baby. So it's yeah. simple. Yeah, Burp we'll, we'll be being polite, but <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Okay, so that's that's awesome. it for the baby, uh, the, the bob cloth. Yes. Uh, in addition to. Utugoma. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. We mentioned one utangana no mwenda bari bute bambi ku mwana ushushye like a really warm clothes. Mm -hmm. So just ibigoma birakenerwa, you know, kuko gishobora kwandura easily cyakindi watanze akabebe kava munda, you know, gafte all sorts of uh, things kavanye munda. Mm -hmm. So you just want to take two more of these. Yeah. Kugira ngo muyimute mu kimuteruremo so all together yeah. three. Yes, three. Yeah. All Again, we shall put the the, the list in the yes. description box yes. and the number. Yes. Yeah, like essential. Let's exactly. emphasize that. Exactly. This is essential. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And we are showing ibigoma, but you know there are people who use had even we have gone go the baby mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. So anything that is warm, like really? baby carrier. Yes, baby carrier. Yeah. Mm. Yes, I think. Yeah, there's a baby carrier. Like, okay, there's different so. types yes. of baby There are carriers. different types, and yeah. Like bags, and like exactly. clothes, but this is exactly. a, it's like a sack. It's like a sack, like something you hold him in, yeah. you know? Mm. Tissues. So, yeah, voila. Okay. Three of these. Mosquito net. Oh, yes. So, Kuri Faisal, Waguhereza, a crib, right? Mm. Was it the same as at... Uh, yes, 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 yeah. yeah. They give you a crib, but they don't give you a small mosquito net. Mm -hmm. So obviously the big one, it's going to be huge maybe, and mm -hmm. it's going to flow, hasi. you won't be able to, you know, kui hanging a hejuru. So what, you know, women, mothers usually take is a small, you know, mosquito net. But mm -hmm. it actually. Like oh. our Nubadoda, yeah, they just you radiant come up, get a mosquito so net for. You don't buy this? Like no, I had it made. 
Oh. Yeah. The f for the first baby, I had it made. For the second one, I just got it from the sister. The I baby. forgot. Hmm? For they the told me. Oh. They told me. I, I asked someone who gave birth at Faisal. And ah, that's okay. another thing, actually, guys. Mm -hmm. If you know where you're giving birth from, just ask the person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They will give you, like, really the... the details mm -hmm. of you know what is particular for mm -hmm. that hospital yeah. for me there you go yeah so, so yeah. these are for rwandan hospitals yes yes yeah. this is specific we've, we've, for rwanda we've given birth in rwanda two different hospitals two different hospitals and yes these are essential uh I believe you also struggled your first time. Mm -hmm. yeah. As I said, you have Google no it. idea. And they tell you, the, by the way, why don't Rwandan hospitals Kukuri. provide these things for us? Kuko. I watched the video once. Ngo, they give you nappies. They yeah. give you. Ngo, Ngo, you don't need a blanket. Yeah, they're going yeah, to give it to you. They're going to give it to you. No. They don't need mama panties. Mm -hmm. oh, we're, we're getting to that, by the way. Yeah. yeah you don't need yeah. that. The hospital provides. Yes. And I'm like, which hospital now? Which hospital? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question. Yeah. But this, this is. is Really for Rwanda. Yeah, yeah, for Rwanda. Yeah. Kigali Our people, people. Yeah. We got you. Exactly. Okay, moving on. It's quite dish. Feeding? Uh, yes, feeding. Great. Okay. Before you. We need an intro for that. Over. <laughs> Over. The floor is yours. Okay. So, you know, I am a, a strong preacher yeah. <laughs> on breastfeeding. Yes. Yeah. Mm. That's we me. know. <laughs> Breastfeeding is, yeah, kabisa. Yeah. But, of course, if you've watched my uh, breastfeeding video on pumping and increasing milk supply and all, I mentioned how the first three days were a struggle. I didn't get my milk in, mostly if it's your first child. Yeah. Of course, this video is for first-time parents because if you've had a baby before, you can figure it out. Mm -hmm. You know what to do. But now you're first-time mom, uh, of course, you're like, ah, nzamonsa. Um, the milk doesn't come in immediately. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The earliest two to three days. Yeah. That's the earliest. Some take a whole week still struggling. Yep. So, get yourself formula. Baby formula. Oh, guys, do not forget this because in my head, yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm going to yeah. breastfeed. Like, I've, I've, no, yeah, I'm crazy like that. So I get to the hospital, I'm like, I'm going to breastfeed my baby. Mm -hmm. They bring him on to large. I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, they do. They know how to like latch mm -hmm. and like, you Most know. Most of them feed. do. Yes. Yeah. So I get my baby. I'm trying to, you know, mm -hmm. nothing is coming. And he's yeah. so hungry. He begins crying. Yeah. Yeah, he begins crying oh, that so hurts. much. That it hurts. hurts. And, le and then I was like, no, let's keep trying. Let's keep trying. You know, because that's what I wanted. Not knowing. the Yeah. Yeah, but then, then um, my doctor uh, came in and was like, you know what, peace? Let's just buy him mm. formula. I'm like, okay. I had to accept that. So basically, this yeah. is for people who want to breastfeed because obviously if you are going to provide formula for your baby mm. or like directly mm. it's simple you're going to think about it mm -hmm. adiko for a person who wants to breastfeed nukuri it's good but myself even for the second baby mm. i think my breast milk kicked in after like two days mm -hmm. so third day mm. which means you know you need to feed your baby you know mm. don't forget bottle yeah. you know just take again pick what works for you mm. mine is none Arico, Harry, oh, yeah. Nutrilon, mm -hmm. France, mm -hmm. Lay. Th mm -hmm. there are so many options mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. so pick what works for you what you, you know get, exactly cow and get, yeah. and, get mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the bottles as well mm -hmm. event uh, Tommy tip yeah the, even the cheaper versions do you know some babies don't yeah. like vino yeah but, okay but what you should know on mm. the baby bottle Hanno can I touch? Mm -hmm. okay, sure, you sure. Have we'll to we'll we'll sterilize we'll this after. <laughs> to this, this is what makes the the, yeah. the the. It's not about the brand. It's not about mm. the, no. Nakamoko kanu. Uh, yeah. How they call this? Uh, how did you go? Tetin. I don't know. Okay, you can see this. Yeah, right? this. <laughs> So this where the baby latches on. It has to be so it's like a booby, yeah? So it has to be yeah. this wide. Apana kaka no kasongo ye and then yeshizomunwa the mouth goes until here. It that's 
it hurts mm-hmm. his it mouth. Does. Yeah. It does. So make sure you look for this. Mm-hmm. Round, it's like a booby. He latches on onto it like this. And yeah. Perfect. Bottles. So yeah, just take it, you know, you might need this. You might need this. Not even, you might. Yeah. You you will need you it. You will, you probably will. Yeah, you will need it. Because even if you yeah. just uh, oh, this is a big bottle, but they're small. Yeah, there are smaller yeah. ones. They are really good, good small ones for yeah. for startup. Like yeah, for the, if you know you you don't want to exactly give them, uh, just formula. buy like the smallest yeah. version. Yeah, Sm- smallest for your stuff because I still have that that bottle that you never yeah. use because you yeah, yeah because makes he, sense. He he took it for just two days. Mm-hmm. You never know. So mm. buy yourself one and pack it in your bag and the feeding bottles. Yes. How many do, do they need? Three for changing. Yeah. I, I packed two personally. Mm. I used only one because somehow, you know, they kept re you know, washing it. Mm. But you know. Yeah, and you know what? Two are enough. Two are enough mm. and it's gonna be in the what do you call it again? What? The box done below. <laughs> what is oh description box. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah, the description box below. Yeah. We are going to put everything and the Great. number if we miss it anything, it's going to be there. Yeah, yeah. Great. Okay. That was all for babies. It may yeah. seem like a little bit long, but guys, we had to emphasize on this and explain to new mamas what, what works where. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So uh, now, moving on, we're going to category number two, which is the mom. Moms tend to forget about themselves. Mm-hmm. Like you think about only the baby and then forget about you. But these are essentials for mom that you have to pack for your hospital yes when you're going to deliver mm-hmm. okay so let's get right into it great mm-hmm. so here there are some things that are really you know obvious mm-hmm. for moms mm-hmm. when it comes to cleanliness you know you need your towel because yeah. you you know you want something a towel is something that's you know it's it's personal, how do I, it's personal. yeah that's the word <laughs> yeah so they might because even provide it at the hospital yeah. but you know just put no, in your partner. towel even partners have yes. different towels exactly exactly <laughs> okay. so your towel your lotion your soap your toothbrush mm-hmm. you know these are the things that in general you have to take mm-hmm. yes you know yeah. no um, questions ask. exactly ask. so at my hospital they provided a toothbrush and a toothpaste okay. but i had taken both things myself mm. if i knew you know if i had known i wouldn't have taken them but they didn't provide there you go yeah so just carry it carry it mm. yes on, mm. on the on the mavuta on the mm-hmm. lotion in my opinion i would suggest getting a uh, organic mm-hmm. uh oil for me i i got I got my oil from uh, Glowforce. It's a mm-hmm. Rwandan brand. Mm. Uh, it's got ma- multi butter. Yeah. Yes, I use that on my boat, like smearing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> that yeah. ashiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So instead of using the lotion that I uh, was using, I felt like this is more not scented. It's mm-hmm. not scented. Mm-hmm. Or you can just use any lotion that is not scented. Yes. That is more natural, less chemicals for the... You never know. Babies come into the world, you know what they're allergic to. Yeah. Their skin, they're on your skin. So... Yeah, we are, as we're selfless, that's one way. This mm, butter yeah. worked really well for me. So you can look yep. for what works for you as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yeah, so that is another thing I could point out. The lotion, uh, still on the lotion part, mm-hmm. deodorant. Hey, yes. Oh, yes. baby girl. You need that. <laughs> one, the hormones just <laughs> tend to make you, <laughs> the, your pH <laughs> imbalance. Akita <laughs> kamunhu. They call it kamuno. Like, guys, yep. I don't remember myself ever having that. Eh? Hey, eh, kamuno. <laughs> I last had this, I think, when I was what? Like, yeah. I started puberty or something. Because when you grow up, you, you take care of yourself, you have the deodorant mm-hmm. and everything. Mm-hmm. You never know exactly how your natural scent yeah. is going to be. But of course, take, uh, get your deodorant non scented mm-hmm. as well. It'll help you, like, yeah, with that, whatever she said. <laughs> okay, moving on. Yeah. Great. So that's cleanliness. Yeah. Clothes. Kwa you know, they give you the a gowns. Little, yeah, the they have, gowns. Yeah, they have mm-hmm. a hospital gown. That you is not, it's nagari mnyenda as such. Naka nuka gufasha, gafasha na waganga. You know, to take care of you mm-hmm. and all that. But definitely you need uh, going home 
outfit. Yeah. Yeah. So something that will be easy for you to breastfeed yeah. in. Yeah. Buttons or machine, anything. Mm. Also not yeah. tight. Like not tight. You need to be comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> you really want to be comfortable. Yeah. For women who have gone through mm -hmm. cesarean, like oh, even through that. that. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't want anything touching your body. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. So it has to be comfortable, as yeah. she said. Uh, easy to nurse. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, of, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Easy mm. to wear even. Yeah, Coco, to put on. You know, if you've had a C-section like me, you're struggling to move, you mm -hmm. know, so you want something that you're just going to, you yeah. know, and then you're good. You can breastfeed, uh -huh. you know. Mm -hmm. So for outfits, good. just one going home outfit because yes. the entire time you're at the hospital, you don't need clothes. You're no. never wearing clothes. You'll be wearing the hospital mm -hmm. gown. Yeah. So mm. one thing I would add. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I gave birth for my second baby during uh, COVID times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there were no visitors. Okay. It was straightforward. And the, gown, the hospital gown was enough. Mm -hmm. But for the first baby, mm -hmm. it was in 2019. And yeah. Now, yeah, in the hospital gown, especially if it's kaga hospital gown, sometimes karajenda because you know you're nursing, you had been kuba. So what I did, and I actually put it in my uh, blog, mm -hmm. it's uh, there are some robes, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. like itinu that you can put on mm -hmm. top. You know, mm -hmm. just a simple robe. Mm -hmm. That's only if you expect visitors, which mm -hmm. we are not expecting these days. Yeah. But just in case you watch this mm -hmm. in a life without COVID, yeah, put in that robe yeah, and it's gonna robe. be handy. Yeah, same as me. There were no visitors. So yeah, just exactly. Us. Yeah. If there are no visitors, you don't need any other clothes. Yeah, because yeah. I didn't. Uh, the only clothes I, I saw as well mm. when they discharged Exactly. No go on the cream. That's yeah. true. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Now I, I think let's talk about the, the, the important things yes. for yes. moms. See new things that <laughs> you're going to discover <laughs> as a mom. Yeah. So you know, this comes with breastfeeding, mm -hmm. but also really taking care of your private parts mm -hmm. when you've given birth. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to breastfeeding, you need nursing pads. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nursing pads, you know, you know, nursing, you know, you know, you know, you know, you nursing. And you know, you, you want to be comfortable. You want to be comfortable. You want to be comfortable. You to be You know. I feel like these mm. are, are useful like eh, mostly like two or three mostly. of these pieces. Yeah. Three are enough. Mm. box four. It's two boobs. <laughs> <laughs> but just four and you know it's it's very simple, you know. So you just put it on your boob inside a nursing bra. Yeah. That's <laughs> that's another okay, thing that's coming up okay <laughs> so yeah. you're nursing you don't want to kurgwana same as the the, the clothes twavuze you ntagushaka kurgwana no kuburu kuntu you know wonsa umwana wawe so i don't know what yeah, it's almost learning as if it's <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. now you are experienced it, so yeah. a nursing mm -hmm. bra it looks like any bra but except I, I love this thing, I, this invention. Mm. So you have like a little thing here mm -hmm. that you just button up. up yeah. Mm. So the good thing about this, the whole thing, exactly. you don't have to remove. You don't like have to that, remove. Yeah. You don't have to kukura mi berirjose. Especially if you're prude and you know, it covers your boob, aha mm. hose, and it's just imokoya with that, you mm. know, you, for the baby to latch. And yeah. you know, so if you have like these two, Pack them. Mm. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, two is, on that, is, a, yeah. is a safe number. Just but safe. Even, yeah, but even one is yeah. enough because Ndumva, you need this when you're going Exactly. Home. Because at exactly. the hospitals, we had said you were in the gown. Yes, and yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. That's right. it. So these two for breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. I think one thing people say, go, I wish I knew mm. before giving birth is you actually bleed. You haven't bled for nine months, my friend. <laughs> Yeah. You're gonna mm -hmm. believe, mm -hmm. especially a natural birth. Mm. Hey, my friend, yeah. be ready. I haven't had one, but yeah, you've be heard. ready. Yeah, I've yeah, heard, yeah. Mm. and even me as a C-section, I did bleed. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you need sure uh, pampersi. 
you kush mm -hmm. <laughs> you need a diaper mm -hmm. as a grown up mm -hmm. you know so there are two different types one looks like panties like panties mm -hmm. ariko this is for someone wasuye muzima so I wouldn't advise this. Yeah. You know, I'm emphasizing on this because Keep I this took at this. Keep this home. You yeah. wear it when you go back home. Exactly. But hospital bag. Hospital bag. Mm. I took this and it didn't serve anything. Me too. Therefore, Me too. Mm. this is a diaper that you need. Kind of like. It looks exactly like the baby oh, diaper. Whoa. See, Bjo? So the same way. <laughs> go, whoa. <laughs> so you see. There are different sizes. Ask even for your men, size. Even men, don't be grossed out by this because no. you're the ones that are going to be buying it. You, you are. <laughs> you're going to go to the pharmacy okay, and buy this. Story time. I used to carry this. Story time. Uh -huh. I carried this yes. in the hospital. Yes. So, uh, same thing, caesarean, and mm -hmm. you know, you're paralyzed the whole bottom. Yes. You don't get nothing. The nurses almost killed me. No. They're like, no. how do you expect how? us to put this on? On you, Kuzamur. Kuzamur. Yeah. Mm -mm. so they had asked my husband to go buy. I was like, which one? Which one? Which size? <laughs> which size? Just tell them. Umva. Allow yourself to be a baby. Yeah, yeah. So how, how did you? How can they ask for this at the hospital? These are for like now, dad. Hey, it's grown-up diapers. Uza was a kusha zaba mama ba bja. Go see. So he brought these. Gigantic mm. things, and that's what we used. Mm. So for you, buy them ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Take so you you assuming that you're three to five days mm -hmm. in the hospital. Mm -hmm. You need. I, for me, I was using two per day. Really? Yes. See, okay, now see that. How many did you? Mm -hmm. People are different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I used one mm -hmm. per day. No, like the first day. Mm -hmm. That first day, I used mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. per day. Yeah. The second day I used one mm -hmm. and then I wore the regular pad. The regular pad. Yes. I think that was the same for me when I had the second baby. Okay. But for the first one, I had uh, gone through a natural birth, tried to go oh, through a natural yeah. birth. Mm. And I think when that happens, especially when you've given birth naturally, mm. you kind of need more mm. because you're going to be... You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So I, I'm thinking um, maybe to be on the safe side, mm -hmm. Uh, two per day for someone who has given a natural birth. Okay. And okay. if it's a C-section, four might be enough for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. four enough for yeah. you. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so I think that's it for mamas. Uh, oh, not yet. Not yet. I'm carrying a thing here. Egg. Okay, please tell yes. us. Look at this. <laughs> Yo, this is the most comfortable thing as a mom, a new mom that you need in your life because it's going to help you breastfeed. You put it here, you hold your baby, and you nurse mm -hmm. comfortably. Yes. Get a pillow, but get yeah. this nursing pillow as well. There are so many maiden run that people are doing it. Oh, yeah. Look up on IG, mm -hmm. ask me, ask me. Like, <laughs> yes. there are so many places you can get this, and, you know, just be comfortable. Mama, yeah. I didn't get, I didn't get one of these. Mm -hmm. You yeah. didn't? No, I did not. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> when I say, <laughs> I struggled, it could be too vulgar. You're like this. Yep. Huh? You're trying to figure out breastfeeding. Mm. And you're, of course, yes. of course, they're, they're helping you. For me, I struggled. So by the time I thought about buying it, damage was done. So I just used mm. the regular home pillows. Like, I wish I knew. But again, you're lucky. Yeah. You She's know. here to tell you. We are here to tell you. <laughs> yeah. Nursey pillow. Yes. Get yourself one. Absolutely. Okay. And... It's so comfortable. Yeah. I think I'll say this like this the entire time. <laughs> you keep it there. So I okay. think we have two last things for mama. For mama. Okay, yes. yes. And I want a water. You guys, <laughs> let me tell you, Nandi, I didn't take a water bottle mm. like in the you know just recently. Mm. And this thing of telling. The nurse, Zaniramaz, Zaniramaz, Wakaku Zaniramaz, and Gana Kutu Muka Gutomir, in your TV Kuishi. Sometimes you're not even able to eat well and yeah. all that. You need a big water bottle. You know, 
and you feel good. Yeah. Mm. As you said, you yeah. ask for water and it takes one takes forever. Mm. Especially uh, if it's water. Mm. But it's, you know, <laughs> yeah. it, it's a whole process, I guess, at yeah. the hospital. So yeah. at least if you have a big water bottle, you know, for, for mm -hmm. some time. Yes. Niza, one more thing yes. that you just used. Yeah. Lip balm. <laughs> you guys. No ashy lips. Candy uruma coco. Like mm. iminua, iruma. You, mm. you just need. One, you've been yeah. drugged. You have drugs in your system. Yes. Iminuma. Of course, you know that you have got that thirst. So, yeah. Exactly. Use yourself. Um, so, lip balm. Mm. Yes. Remember your slippers. Come on, bid it go save. And peace. Mm -hmm. Because it's her. <laughs> so guys, this is not an essential. Nagari essential, but it's uh it's necessary. It's an essential for some people. For some people, like our beautiful dancer. <laughs> uh, have you seen her video? When she, uh, on check TikTok, out, check out. It TikTok, right? It was TikTok, yes. Okay. On TikTok. <laughs> guys, is this on Instagram? You can check her out uh, on her Instagram page. The video when she was at the hospital dancing and you know giving a hand the husband oh, her and her husband a whole vibe you should check that video out <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah they gave us a show in the hospital so that's why you see a speaker here it all differs on what kind of birth yeah you were you were going you, you're doing yes if it's a natural birth the thing tends to you can't know over of course you can't know yeah yeah so uh personally my uh C-section was mm -hmm. scheduled mm -hmm. because I had okay. last minute yes. complications mm. and uh, not really complications, but yeah, it was necessary yes. to, to do it. So mm -hmm. we had a date, we went in prepared, it was yeah. so calm and everything. Yes. yes so that Kaboa Dome, we yes. watched movies, we listened to music, yes. like, you know, to pass us through that because we had to spend there the night before mm -hmm. the surgery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, we get bored in the hospital. You need... Mm. Uh, you need some music, you need... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can For even her case, it's an essential. Effort. Yes, <laughs> it is. It really is. And I danced to it. Another thing I should, we should throw in that bag, your charger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't forget your charger. The phone is akuzimana, and then you want to send like, a message to mm -hmm. your family and friends yes. that you've given birth. So make sure you charge your phone or make mm -hmm. sure you carry a charger with you. And uh, the other essentials yes. you should carry on you insurance mm -hmm. uh, if you have records of your of your mm -hmm. birth like yes. if you're using a deal because harukuno you use a different og mm -hmm. uh, yes to to for your checkups and exactly. everything and then the person who's going to deliver your baby it's a different it, person. yeah different person so you need these medical records absolutely. on you get them it's very important that you do that absolutely yeah yeah so i think that's it not forgetting Mm -hmm. Sasa category number three. Yes. Your partner or your mom or the caregiver. Oh, yeah. yeah, like those people, we tend to forget them, but they're really, really important. For me, as you as should said earlier, during the COVID, uh, giving birth during the COVID season, mm -hmm. no visitors, you have mm -hmm. limited people taking care of you. I had my husband taking care of me. Mm -hmm. Like uh, my mom came like the next day, so mm -hmm. I had two people taking care of me mm -hmm. same uh, here yeah so that is and of course they had to take the covid test and everything yes. so that limits mm -hmm. no visitors no about mm -hmm. simbura exactly <laughs> so for the for the caregiver slash partner uh you have to pack a toothbrush for them mm -hmm. and toothpaste of yes. course so of course the same toothpaste you, you shall use exactly. the both of you but a toothbrush for them <laughs> mine forgot and by the time we're there in the morning is like baby toothbrush i'm like i got you so yes. guys think about them it's very important another yeah. thing uh of course the soap they would mm -hmm. use on your soap yes. towel towel is personal as we yeah. had said carry yours Packet and his if it's your husband or it's not really common around the mm. husbands to speak it's the usually the mom or the aunt or the sister yeah the, the cousin so yeah. you know just pack for that one person for that one person make sure yeah. they have like the essentials of yeah. clean you yeah. know cleaning their body mm. and everything and also you know think about a blanket because yeah. you don't yeah. know if they're gonna give them like you know the full blanket yeah, they actually car. don't they don't they yeah. do not give them okay mm. um they don't give the, the beddings no pillow 
mm-hmm. and nor the blanket. Yeah. So I don't have to carry the whole coof ready. If you have a throw blanket, yes. or like I carried a throw blanket, mm-hmm. it's and also hospitals tend to be warm, mostly the rooms that have babies. Yes. Yeah, yes. So a, a small They make sure, yeah. Yeah, a small mm. a small cup blanket, cathro blanket mm. will do the magic to yeah. have the and a pillow. And a pillow. Yeah. No, no, if it's the hospital where they don't give you the bed, they mm-hmm. use the chair. Yes, that's true. That also happens. Mm. I think one thing we can say about this is mm. Ask your hospital. Yes. Depending on you know the room mm. where you'll be, just make sure that mm. you know what they provide, yeah. so you can be ready. Yeah. In most cases, you, they won't provide like for the caregiver, mm-hmm. they won't provide the pillow and the blanket. So it's things you can take. Mm-hmm. But if they're providing it for the room you will be in, so you don't need to yeah, pack you those. Yeah. yeah, you don't need. Also, don't forget snacks. Oh yes, I mean. Yeah, for a foodie person, <laughs> that will be an essential. It's not about only being foodie. Mm. You, don't, you, don't, you never know. Yeah. Harry, could you, you, you get hungry and you mm-hmm. need a snack? Okay, snacks are mostly for the caregivers because if mm. the hospital may, provides for you oh, that's food. That's true. Yeah. That's but for yeah, the, good point. But for the caregiver, they, they don't. don't. So either they buy. Mm, they have to buy. Mm. Yeah. Or course but the snacks keep them moving until the food is there <laughs> yeah. especially if they have to spend like nights helping you yeah. in the middle of the night they might yeah. want to crack on something yeah so yeah. carry snack you may need it but mostly it's for the caregivers yeah, yeah. absolutely you tend to get hungry i got this tip from a friend of mine mm-hmm. he's like pack your snacks i'm yes. like oh, yeah. i won't need mm-hmm. them by the middle of the night uh Abby was hungry, and there was no snack, and the kitchen was closed. Yes. So you can imagine. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, pack the yeah. snacks. Just you know, biscuits. Mm. I don't know, chips. Anything yeah. that's small that yeah, you can throw. Back. Oh, juice as yes. well. Like yeah. just things that you can grab quickly mm-hmm. and. Yeah. Water. Okay. Mm. Uh, another thing, uh, maybe pack a, ch- a change of cloth. Ah, for the caregiver? For the, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That, that's that's mm. if the caregiver is your partner. Yes. Because, of course, you will think for them. You will yes. pack for them. Mm. I recall, no mm. family member, let them know. Let they them know. They should come with a change. Uh, yeah. Okay, it will depend, but it's always good to be it safe. Is. It I'm is. It is. Because you don't know how long you're going to be there. Yeah. At least uh, if it's for, 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 for a partner. Mm-hmm change of t-shirt or boxes, yep. things like that. Yeah, because I'm saying this out of my experience mm-hmm. because the, the next day, they're, they're, of course, they've been taking care of you. They mm-hmm. forget about themselves. But because mm-hmm. you packed way before, yeah. they're like, uh, no toothbrush, uh, no, no yeah. change of clothes, yeah. t-shirt. My t-shirt is already maybe messy. I mm-hmm. need another one. So I li- those small things, t-shirts are really easy mm-hmm. to like pack in a bag and a change of boxes exactly. or whatever. And for if it's, it's your mom, let them know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's good. I let my mom know, and she was like, "Thank you. I wouldn't have thought about this." Yeah, you know? see. Yeah. yeah. So if you have an idea of the days mm-hmm. and what the hospital provides, just make sure you inform your caregiver mm-hmm. to pack. You know, all those essential things. So I think we have come to the end of the video. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen. Cheers. We did this. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Mama. Yes, Mama. Thank you so much. My pleasure. My yeah. Pleasure. I mean, I, this could not have turned out better than this if I had done this alone. Like, gutes. Gute. Eh? I'm so glad <laughs> learning how to vlog, you know? <laughs> yeah, so I'm happy you said yes. Yeah. Yes to this and um, for hosting us in your beautiful home, beautiful babies, uh, very welcoming and uh, we thank you so much. Mm-hmm. So guys, do you want to say something to I mean, people? what else would I say except mm. click the notification <laughs> bell? <laughs> subscribe. No, you guys, subscribe. <laughs> Make sure you follow Misa. I've been watching her vlogs every day and that's the reason why it wasn't very tough to say yes oh, I, thank it was you. swift i was just like is Misa texting me to go on her vlog <laughs> i couldn't believe it but you oh, guys so it's kind. really really good content that especially for moms married couples mm-hmm. this is the place for you you mm-hmm. know in rwanda we need we need people who tell us things <laughs> so you know yeah. just Follow, watch, and you know, yeah. I'm so glad that we did this. Thank you so much. Can we hug? My pleasure. Of course. Okay. Ah! <laughs>
Okay, course, so um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, as Trust said, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Yes. Bye. Bye.